Yes, I love to cook. I love to entertain. And, you know, when I'm not on set, I'm usually throwing dinner parties. And when I first moved away from my parents, I was living in different cities, and I would use food as a way to, like, meet people, and that was my way of connection. But I put so much pressure on myself, and I would create these dishes that were overly complicated, and I'd be in a deep sweat, and I'd be super stressed out, or I'd, like, imbibe too much or whatever. And over the years, I've really learned kind of ways to – make it look effortless and how it's really more of a philosophy about enjoying the process and i wanted to share some of my recipes that i know are like super crowd pleasers and that make it successful you know so that you can have a great time while you're entertaining because everyone if you're a good cook and you don't use cookbooks that's a different thing when you actually have to go through it, I probably made a lot of these recipes 25 times. You know, like my husband would just eat turkey chili for like two and a half weeks, you know, because I was making it every night, twist, you know, tweaking things, adding more cumin, less cumin, more peppers, you know, whatever it was, a little chocolate, things to kind of heighten flavor. And to make it that specific is a big deal. And even things like making sure you have sea salt and the same, you know, whenever you use coarse kosher salt, so it's the same throughout the book. There's these little things that could make you go crazy, <laughs> to go a little crazy making the book. wild um, they handed it to me I smelled it you know because you work so long on something and you know usually I'm, I'm promoting a movie or you're promoting different things and to come with something that is some, that I'm truly passionate about and it's my recipes I shot it in my home with my friends and you know it's all about you know kind of deconstructing and demystifying entertaining you know I don't use beautiful linens and all that it's just stuff in my house messy plates lipstick on all the glasses all the napkins are crumbled up you know so it feels accessible and takes away some of the intimidating side of entertaining i love food blogs i absolutely do i'm super inspired by them i have a blog myself that i've been able to work on more now that the book's done but that's one of my favorite things because it doesn't also have to be a specific. On my blog, I'm more like a dash of this, a splash of that, you know, because it's kind of more of a fun, relaxed version of a cookbook for me. Um, but I love surfing online and looking at different food and creating menus. Like that's, that's what I like to do with my nights. You know, I've been feeding my son what we've been eating from the beginning, you know, whether it's pureed up and I'm really lucky that he's an eater. That being said, if we're traveling, we're splitting a cupcake. I'm eating half that hot dog. Like, I love splurging. I'm not a highbrow eater. Like, I love a beautiful restaurant with a delicate plate, but truthfully, I just as much love going to get a cheesesteak and, like, crushing a cupcake. So for me, um, you know, I give him both, and I don't make it, oh, my God, here's this special treat, because sometimes a special treat is granola. A special treat is a popsicle made of Greek yogurt. So, you know. I love Donna Karen's clothes so much. I mean, first of all, it's the most comfortable thing. This is something that you can put on and feel and go out and have a fabulous day, a glamorous night, maybe crawl on the bed in it because <laughs> it feels so good. Um, but it also just makes you look nice. You know, it kind of it hugs your body in the right places. So I'm excited to see what she brings out today.